I was able to find a belt. I didn't even have to make this one, but the keys are attached to the little lake. And then I can just do like this. Anyways, the belt that I'm going to make is literally going to be something similar to this. So, <sighs> so that I don't lose my keys. And my I love it like all day long because all of the outer exterior cabinets all the doors and cabinets have locks so keeping track of keys is important and if i lose this <laughs> well I, of course i have a plan for that but i can't tell you that so but specific people know in case something ever bad happens to me but anyways this is getting a little weird If one more person calls me a genius, I swear I'm gonna file a complaint. As long as, wait. Sorry. As long as I don't get my YouTube channel taken down, this will be documented. Like if we're gonna work out and stuff. So oh, when you hurt your pinky, you just need to keep being a bitch. Don't you stop, okay? You just keep being a bitch. Oh God. Oh. We can do definitely. We can do lunges, bro. We, we got. We got plenty of room to. Oh, I just XOXO. Yo, yo, I just dim the glow on the XXO. Yeah. All right, we can go backwards with that. We're going to get into that. I do. We're in a small space. We gotta like utilize it. Uh, 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 that doesn't sound too secure. Yeah. So what we're gonna do with the ceiling? Can you all see this dip? I put my hand up on my hip, and I dip, 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 dip. Yeah, that's not gonna stay like this. That's okay. Uh, doing this all. I'm going to be building a star. So the star is actually going to be in this area somehow. And it's gonna whoa. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be, you know how hard it is to draw a star. Speaking of drawing, I need to teach you guys how to draw a crowd. It is a gift to know how to draw a crowd. And I do it very easily. And it's not just because I'm an artist and a designer. It's just something that I knew how to do. I would say as soon as I started to be able to read and write. So if you can read and write at home, that's the age limit. And even if you can't read and write, I mean, you can totally learn this, but I'm going to teach you and you're, you're, you're going to learn how to draw a crowd. So the first thing that I need you to do at home is I just, I really would please appreciate it if you just sit down for this exercise. teach you right now how to draw a crowd actually before you do that I think you should just quickly go grab a pen marker crayon pencil or 
or your iPhone notepad, what have you. You're going to need a pen and paper, something to draw on so that you can take notes. I'm going, well, I have it right here, okay? And I have my notes, all of these notes that I have, okay? And we're gonna go over the first step, okay? Remember, I'm promising I can do this with my eyes closed. So if I can do this with my eyes closed, the first step is to have a pen handy and a blank piece of paper, okay? And this is, this is literally a life-saving skill, okay? This, I honestly should be charging you guys for this type of information, but I love you so much. I want everyone to have access to this type of knowledge. I think it's only fair that you actually witness this. No time lapsing going on. I just wanna insert now that I'm editing. You do not have to have big boobs to draw crowds. I'm gonna prove it right now. All right, let's okay, so that. I'm going to look at you, I'm going to hold up my paper, and I'm gonna teach you right now how to draw a crowd with your eyes closed. So here we go, ready? I'm looking at you. I'm going to close my eyes and just start. You wanna make sure your pen is right there on the paper. I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna write C-R-O-W-D. Crowd. I just draw a crowd. My eyes closed. This is, this is. You need to replay this. Go ahead and watch it again. You need to study. Okay, but this is how you can draw crowds anytime you want in your life. Okay, guys, let's get into today's video. It's like the creepiest bird I've ever heard. I picture it. I don't want to put that energy out there, but no, that's not it. That's not it. I'm sitting on my truck. Oh, by the way, so. So we don't have a camp. That bird, oh my God. We don't have a campfire yet, obviously. Um, I, I have to make my bathroom. And I am, um, somebody did uh, ask me about my kitchen. So I'm not gonna have a propane kitchen. I'm gonna have, it's basically like two hot plates. They're electrical hot plates and you plug them in. I just don't wanna have propane inside of my truck, but I will have like a spare propane grill just for like, um, helicopter. You hear the helicopter? So my kitchen is gonna basically have a um, two hot plate burner that can, it's like flat plate, it's very modern. So I can boil or you know cook whatever, whatever. Um, I am gonna have a blender. I'm going to have like a toaster oven, a crock pot and an air fryer and like a regular outdoor grill and a microwave. Oh, and a George Foreman grill. I think that's enough, you know what I mean? So hope that answers anyone's um, questions out there but um so the stories right dude being in the wild is like wild that bird's like my ancestor like my family has a mouth that big bro you see how I roll bro like I fucking don't quit it's like I can be quiet or I can freaking wail I would right. be like Grandma? <gasps> now I hear a fucking plane. Do you hear that? Helicopter, plane, bird. No moon, no stars. That's so weird. Oh, maybe those stars were illuminated because of the... Okay, so let me just tell you the story. Every time I want to tell you the story of this fucking squawking bird. I wonder what kind of bird that is. If anyone is listening and you can hear in the background that sound, I want to look up what kind of, I want to, I want to know what kind of bird that is. This bird is on a consistent time because the amount of time it takes me to talk to you guys and then I go off camera, the bird goes quiet. As soon as I take it in a deep breath and gather my thoughts to record, bird starts again. Familiar. 
Sounds like it's a fucking karmic, bro. This bird is a fucking karmic. Okay. Let's continue. So these two stories that I want to tell you. Remember, we don't have a campfire tonight, but but event. Oh, and by the way, here's my truck. Okay, and I do have a my I have a lights all around my truck. They're on, obviously, because I'm outside. Like I need fucking lights so nobody creeps up on me, and I'm protected. But that's none of your business. But anyway, so the point is, is that so here's the two stories. Okay, so story number one. Um, I don't know if I should start when I. So I was definitely between the ages of five and. six between five and six, cause I was in Fort Myers still, but <clears throat> I've told everybody all my life, the story. So this is not like a, just the first time I'm just telling this. Everybody who I know who I care about, I've told the story to because it's a true story. So basically what happened was, bird doesn't want me to talk. <clears throat> I was, my parents, we, we lived in this yellow house. It was yellow and um, we, we based, oh, look at the yellow light behind me. Wow. You're going to think I'm crazy, but this is a true, this is a fact. <sighs> so what happened was I was in my room. We, we lived in Fort Myers and our house was, we, we were on the water. We lived on a canal that led out to the intercoastal and we had a boat and we had a floating dock. So a floating dock floats, a regular dock has stakes that go into the ground. Our dock in our backyard floated. And we had a houseboat, but anyways, our house was on stilts because we were in a flood zone and we used to get a lot of floods. So whenever it would flood or rain a lot, our uh, water would literally go up underneath the house, right? So our house was basically on stilts because we, and I remember um, several times when it would flood or rain a lot and the water would rise up. My mom um, and I would have to pull our pants um, like the bottom, if we had pants on, we would have to roll them up past like our knees and um, we would have to walk to the car in like bare feet and there would literally be fish swimming around my car port, um, snakes, whatever. There was always like stuff swimming around our house whenever it would flood. But anyways, I remember these days like yesterday. So what happened was my bedroom faced the backyard. So if you were to take an, an aerial shot of my house when I was up, it would be shaped like a letter L. So this long side, okay, let's just, let's get my bearings here. Okay, let's just say northwest, uh, north, south, east, west, right? So the mother-in-law suite would, would face, and I don't know if these, if this is right or not, but would face, let's say north and south. And then the house was east and west, right? So it's literally like a shape of an L. <clears throat> my house, so my, so if this is the L part, like the long part, this part facing the back, right? And this is the house part, right? Street would be right out front by my nose, right? Okay, so my window faced the backyard. So out my window, I could see my mother-in-law suite to my left and then straight woods to the back. And then my parents ended up getting an above ground pool and putting a bam bamboo um, gate around the house. So before all that happened, I was in my bed and my bed was up against the wall where my window was. And no, this isn't because I watched a scary movie. I was literally a little, little, little kid. I was between five and six years old. And I swear to God in, in my heart, on the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, I will never do this on my children, on everything I know. This is a fact. I was laying in my bed and something, I had curiosity to look out the window. So I got on my knees and I stuck my head over the, over the little ledge because my bed was up against that wall. And I looked out the window and I literally saw a tall brown Chewbacca, literally like a Chewbacca looking guy walking across the backyard. And I would say, I didn't know that like a driveway's length away from my window. But he was walking near the woods, right next to the woods on the on the outer perimeter of the woods. And when I, he had brown long hair and it literally came everywhere. This wasn't like um, a masked person. He had, I could see the hair, hair all over his body, everywhere. His hair was so long. He literally looked like uh, a Chewbacca or like a Bigfoot or like a, but he was walking like a person, but he was so fucking tall. And I saw this dark, all, I remember brown and his, and he, his, everything covered it like a woolly mammoth covered, like, but he was human. 
and he walked and he was looking straight. He never looked at my window. And I remember seeing that and freezing like, and I'm, and I literally screeched it back down. Like I was so scared. And then while I was so scared, my curiosity, even though I was so scared, you guys, I was testing my imagination. Like I got to take another look to it. Am I, I literally at this age was like, is this real? I literally like put my hands up on the windowsill and I like creeped up my head flat and I like pulled my nose over so I could just see my eyes. But then I realized even at this age, I was aware of my forehead, but he never looked. He just, and I, so when I tell you, this is how my face was. I was literally like this. Like, but in slow motion, like I watched him walk across the back wall of my yard. I will never forget this. This is a fact, you guys. It was not my imagination because I went back and checked. And then I laid back down in my bed and I pulled the covers over my head and I was so fucking scared. Like, then I remember like several months later when I would go to sleep, my eyes um, would get really thick, crusty crust. I know that sounds really gross, but this is a true story. When I was like five or six years old, I would get this thick, 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 heavy crust so much that I, I couldn't manually open my eyes in the morning. My parents had to like soak my eyes for like 30 minutes. You guys, the crust was like something never seen before. So my parents ended up having a doctor come and the specialist came and he had to put this special box inside of my room that was hooked up to me. And like, when I tell you, I don't know anybody in my life that has had this kind of a symptom. Like I, yeah, I've heard of like eye boogers and stuff, but when I tell you this crust was like, like fucking alien shit, bro. And then listen to this. So then by the time I get to like high school and stuff or whatever, I'm like starting to lay out more. And like, I didn't really like pay attention to my body that much until, you know, until I started getting sun and stuff. And I remember laying out in the sun one day and I remember seeing like right on my hips, like and I'll show you guys this. It's not bad because it's you can you can't even see it. It's literally like a fraction of a hairline of like literally like like a hairline, a little tiny scar on each hip bone, right? But it's not a scar like you would think. Ew! Like literally, you cannot see it with the naked eye. I literally noticed something, and then I and then I noticed, and then so I went to my mom, and I was like, "Mom, are these cut? They look like I like." And she goes yeah well when you were born you were taken away right away for immediate surgery and I was like what why didn't I know about this and she said I said for what she said well you she had said that I had um hernia on both sides and so right when I was born like they had to take me away right away and they operated on me but anyways that's my non-fire campfire story tonight it's a true story take what you want with the information just saying the second video will be in the second video to this video so basically this is so confusing basically i have one video out for not only vans for this year for a new season right this video that i'm trying to make is way too long so I'm splitting it into two. So if you watch this video, you got to watch the second one to understand completely. But anyways, if you're a real follower of Lexi Lib, you'll watch all my videos. But anyways, moving forward, let's continue. with star my ambulance we're going to go outside and take a look at this gorgeous view i'm in the middle of the city looking down from a sky rise inside my truck that doesn't even make sense but let's just go see So we are on my lift gate, which I, you can totally tell that I 
have this green grass on here. This is where my golf putting tee is going to go. Uh, one of my videos, I said that it was going to be on my roof, but I decided to put it on my lift gate and I painted like blue around it. So it'll look like it has water. Let me just give you a quick, I, I put up this canopy. This is why I wanted to keep this lift gate. We'll be using them for backdrops for podcasting. I need to still continue stringing more lights because we need lots of lights and extension cords hooked up inside there but we need to get my bathroom done y'all look at this dryer ready to go for this project.
believe that it is already January 31st. Okay, so we're back at my house. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go to Home Depot and, sorry, hold on, hair tie. I decided I'm gonna do a gravity water system on my, basically the water's gonna be on the roof. <laughs> Don't ask me how, but we're gonna try this experiment and literally just been like running around, like chicken with my head cut off. All right, I just picked up my sewing machine and we're gonna go to Home Depot. It doesn't stop you guys, it's just never quit. Oh shit, I forgot my phone. I'm holding my phone. Let me read it. Okay, so we are being in my big house after just being in Star. Just wasn't doing it for me. Like I'm over it, you know? Like I've been there for three years alone. I don't I don't want to live in a big house by myself anymore. Like it's boring. It echoes. It's like hello, hello, hello. Anybody home? Home, home. It's like, did I seriously just walk into Home Depot when I canceled my cards last night? I have to go all my banks on the other side of town. I have to get bank new new cards. I have to get new cards because Amazon just random being charged on my card and I'm like what the fuck so I canceled that shit. Yeah, I'm in my hands. I gotta do this now. It's whatever. I'm just rambling because I'm so frustrated that the bank's on the other side of town. My bank is on the other side of town. <sighs> of course. Well no there's several banks in my town that I just only one of my banks makes the cards. Not the one right by my house. I gotta go all the way over to the hotel. Dang it, man. I just wanted to work on my truck. Seriously. You know, staying. I I'm gonna keep the house, though. I'm gonna keep the house. Because I got a bunch of furniture. Like you wouldn't 
think that it would. You think it would. You think you can just go in there and bippity boppity boo it? No, no, no. Oh, but cut, the wood's got to be cut just the right length. And it's like, I can't tell you how many times I'm walking back and forth. I've cut a piece of wood. I go over and I'm like, shit, it needs like a little bit more cut. And then I go back and I'm like, shit, it needs a little bit more. Because <laughs> you don't want to cut it too short because then you can't like, you know, then you're going to have a gap and it's just, made it to the bank and there's no spot. I think I'm qualified to park in the handicap spot. Do you guys think so? How can there be a good... I gotta go inside. What do I do? I I park in the handicap spot. I'm gonna get a fucking ticket. I know I will. Does, do cops come to the bank? That's a big risk, dude. What should I do? <sighs> There's no spots to park. Fuck off. So I had to park all the way, way across over here. We're leaving my bank now. We didn't get the cards because they we put them at the one next to my house, which of course is my. The horn on my truck, because it's an ambulance, is so fucking loud. So, like, if I was ever in danger, I could honk that thing and it could be heard on you know. So that's one good plus. But okay, so let me get to this story. This is so true. So I don't know if I should start with start with what with what I saw last night. So let me think. Anybody else out there had any experience like this before? 